Hey everyone, this is Melody Nieves for Envato Touch Plus, and today I'll show you how to add this fun distortion effect to your photos with simple tools in Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. So you may have seen this photo glitch effect in a previous tutorial of mine from my quick Photoshop glitch lesson here on Envato Touch Plus. Today we'll be following generally the same steps with a few modifications to make it a little easier. So let's start with a new photo. I personally like strong portraits with really cool or unique expressions, so I'll be using this beautiful stock from Envato Elements. Open your photo into Photoshop. Double click the background layer and switch it to a regular one named Photo. Next, create a new layer and select the Paint Bucket tool. Fill this layer with the color white and rename it Background. Now select the Photo layer and hold Ctrl J to create a copy. Drag this copy above the white background and name it Photo 1. Let's follow this up with a little organization. Add these two layers to a new group to separate them from the original. Later on, we'll be able to flip back and forth to the edited version to see the difference. Now let's move on to the effect. Add a little more drama to your photos by tweaking the overall color scheme. Add a layer mask to Photo 1. Use the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection on the side then select the layer mask and fill the selection with black. Follow it up by moving the photo over a little to center it. Now select the polygonal lasso tool and create a basic selection around your subject. Then add a new adjustment layer of hue and saturation. This first adjustment will help us desaturate the model, but let's add another for the back. Hold the control key and select the layer mask for the new adjustment. Then switch back to the Lasso tool and right-click to inverse the selection. Add a second Hue and Saturation Adjustment layer, then set both layers as clipping masks to the photo. Now that we have these layers set, we can adjust the colors for both the subject and the background separately. Let's start with the model. Lower the saturation to negative 54. Then select the back adjustment and increase the saturation to 48. Feel free to push the saturation even further but eventually the colors get a little distorted, so I'll keep these settings for now. Now we can move on to the glitch. Once you're happy with the colors, select the photo and the clipped adjustments and right click to merge the layers together. Hold Ctrl J to make another copy of this result. Rename these layers one and two and select the second one. To create the horizontal glitches, select the rectangular marquee tool and make a few selections around your subject. Add on to the number of selections created by holding the Shift key with each one. Now select the Move tool and tap on the right arrow key a few times. See how it distorts? This will create a quick distortion effect that we can continue around the canvas. Vary the size and length. Experiment with how far you'd like to push this distortion, but keep in mind that just a little goes a long way. Once you're through, we can add a few wavy glitches to the composition as well. Merge these layers together. Select the rectangular marquee tool and make a few larger selections. Now go to Filter, Distort, Wave. Use these settings to add distorted waves to your glitch effect. Depending on your photo, you might want to vary the numbers for the wavelength and amplitude for more or less distortion. You can also hit the Randomize button for a unique effect each time. Here is my result so far. Now let's finalize the look. To add the static lines to this photo, Right-click the layer and go to Blending Options. Add a striped pattern overlay with the following settings, making sure to set the blend mode to Linear Burn. Now create a copy of this layer. The last thing we'll add is a quick 3D effect. Select the copy and right-click to go to Blending Options. Uncheck the setting for the red channel. Then use the Move tool and right arrow key to move the photo over to the right. Instantly, this turns into a cool 3D effect, but let's distort it even more. Hold Ctrl J to create a copy of this layer. Right click and go to Blending Options again. And now uncheck the settings for the red and green channels. Just like before, we'll use the Move tool along with the arrow keys to shuffle the photo over for a brightly colored distortion. Here's my final glitch. Try these tips and share your results. Stay tuned for more tutorials from all of us at Envato Touch Plus.